In this video, I wanna to talk to you about an app called Dropler. Now, Dropler is a file sharing app. I know, before you say anything, I love Dropbox, I use Dropbox too. Don't get me wrong, Dropbox is great. However, Dropler makes it super, super easy and super, super fast to share files with your friends and coworkers. So, let's just give this video a shot. Let's see what Dropler has to offer. I guarantee you, you will probably find something useful about the app. Let's just dive right into it right now. So what exactly is Dropler? Dropler is essentially the combination of three tools in one. It's a sharing tool, it's a capture tool, and it's cloud storage. All right, so let's dive into Dropler. To get started, simply drag and drop a file over the Dropler icon that's in your macOS menu bar, which basically looks like a water droplet. So I got a meme right here on my desktop. I'm gonna click on this file, drag it over the icon there, and as you can see, there's a green plus icon overlaying that file. I'm gonna let go of my mouse. Dropler not only has uploaded that file to the cloud immediately, but has also generated a automatic short link URL for me to share the file with other people. And if we click on the Dropbox icon, we can see our file right here, safe and sound in the cloud. So yeah, with Dropler, everything is stored in the cloud. Nothing is stored on your hard drive inside Dropler. Of course, the file on my desktop is on my hard drive. But if I wanted to delete that file now from my desktop, I could still do so and the file would, would still be in the Dropler cloud. Also, every file that you upload to Dropler has a auto-generated short link, which is just useful for sharing files with other people. So let's just quickly go over the Dropler drop-down menu. We have the option to upload a file, take a screenshot, take a screenshot with annotation, take a screen recording, and we have the option to do regular HD video or generate a GIF. Plugins, which are native to Mac OS, and markdown notes, code snippets, use Dropler to shorten an existing link that lives outside of Dropler, and upload your recent clipboard contents. And yeah, that's Dropler on Mac OS. Pretty straightforward, gives you a clean, simple interface to share your files. I'm a pretty big fan of it. I've been using Dropler for a while now, and it's definitely very convenient instead of having to tape together multiple apps to get something really simple done, like taking a screenshot. All right, let's dive into the Dropler web app. So this is the Dropler web app. It's got a really nice clean design. I'm a pretty big fan of it. Love that purple. And as you can see, we have our meme right here that we uploaded. And I got some music here. And so with this web interface, you can see all your files. Dropler gives you a thumbnail preview so you can see what they are. You can click on the files to get a full page view. You have the option to download the file, add an annotation or copy the file. And if we go back out to the main dashboard here, you can also click on the file with this checkbox here. And you can add tags, add to a board, delete, and copy the link. You can also display your files in a list view. You can search for files. You can collapse the sidebar here like so. You can upload files directly to the web app by clicking this button here. And they give you some options in the drop down. Over here is your account settings. And the two major features of the Dropler web app are boards and tags. So let's create a board, click on that, and we'll just call this memes. If you click on the sharing tag here, you can invite members of your team if you have a team set up already on Dropler. I don't for this example, so we're gonna go back to settings. And we'll just make this public. Create board. And if we click that arrow there, we can see the memes board. There's nothing in it right now. So let's go back to all my items. Click on that meme. And then add it to the memes board like so. And if we go back into the memes board, there's our meme. And of course we have tags. So we could add a tag to this. Call it the office.
And if we click that down arrow right there next to tags, we can see that new tag we just created. And yeah, pretty simple stuff. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, when you click to view a file and you're on the main page for a single file, this is what a person would see if you were sharing a link to a file. They would see the Dropbox logo, the file name, and the option to download the file. And of course, if you had a custom logo set up, that logo would be right here instead of the Dropbox logo. And the last feature is the ability to invite team members to your Dropbox account just to make sharing files and boards a whole lot easier. This way you don't have to type in the same email address over and over again. And if you're sharing files in a board, you can just share that board. And that way you don't have to waste time sharing each individual file if the board has already been shared with that person. So overall, you can't do every single thing that Dropware can do in Mac OS with the menu bar extension, but the web app is pretty cool, looks really nice, and does make your life a little bit easier. Dropware also has integrations for Slack, Gmail, Google Docs, Microsoft Teams, Intercom, Trello, Sketch, Adobe Photoshop, Confluence, Apple Messages, Discord, Skype, and Jira. So you might be asking yourself, well, how is Dropler better than Dropbox? Though Dropbox does allow you to share files and will generate short links for native screenshots, Dropler combines two things together, the act of capturing and the act of sharing. Whereas with Dropbox, you're gonna have to use another app to capture your screenshots and screen recordings and then put it into Dropbox and then share the files. Dropler also offers things that Dropbox doesn't, like screen recording, screenshot annotation, sharing text from your clipboard, linking a custom domain and logo, and has direct integrations that Dropbox lacks like Gmail, Google Docs, Discord, Skype, Intercom, Apple Messages, and Confluence. And files just won't take up space on your hard drive with Dropler. So you'll save space and you won't lose them or accidentally delete them. And of course, Dropler just allows easy and quick access from the Apple menu bar. So you might be wondering what are all the ways that you can use Dropler? Dropler is great for sharing files without using hard drive space. It's great for sharing files inside of apps that don't let you attach files or apps that have limits for file attachments. It's great for sharing files with complete strangers. It's super convenient for sharing screenshots or screen recordings for customer support tickets for an app that might have an error and they want to see what's going on. Dropler is also great for collaboration, whether it's casual business or between in-office teams or even remote teams. Sharing code or markdown without jumbled formatting. Sharing files across your own devices for easy access for just an as needed basis for your maybe your assets or files that you use frequently. And Dropper is just a great solution to keep yourself more organized, just to separate your shared files from your main files that you keep in Dropbox or Google Drive. And my favorite, you don't need to wait for your Dropbox account to finish syncing. Can't tell you how many times I get on my computer and I want to share a file that's less than a gigabyte and I gotta wait two, three, four, five hours for my Dropbox account to finish syncing because I have a lot of video footage files in my Dropbox folder. But with Dropler, I don't have to worry about that. Throw in a file and I'm good to go. And as for apps, Dropler is available natively for macOS and iOS, has a Chrome extension, and of course you can access the web app on any computer using the browser of your choice. Now Dropler currently offers three plans. The first plan is called Lite, which is free, and you get your basic file sharing, your screenshot tool, your Dropler short URLs, and the integration for Slack. Their second plan called the Pro plan is currently $3 a month, and with this plan, you get custom URLs, all the other integrations, full file history, screencast, document preview, enhanced customization tools, and a 10 gigabyte limit per file. Now keep in mind that this price and these features are what I'm seeing now in November of 2018. Of course, if you're watching this video in the future, these prices and features could change. So definitely check out the website just to see what current plans they offer. I'll leave a link in the description below. And their third plan is called Enterprise, and if you want a price for that, you have to contact them. It sounds like, from what I read, they basically customize the plan based on your company's needs. So, uh, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video, and if you want to stay on top of my future videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, because there's a lot of stuff coming soon. I'm going to be covering a lot of apps you may already know, some you may not know, 
And there's gonna be some beta apps thrown in there as well, like like literally week old, month old beta apps. So you don't wanna miss that. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty crazy, it's gonna be pretty intense. So stay tuned, hit subscribe, check back for more videos. If you have any questions or comments or if you have any suggestions, hit me up on Twitter at Jeff Isley and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.